Welcome back to Vegas Live with Ninon and I am, you know it's funny but when, when I look at what I'm sitting here with I've actually just got framed. <laughs> I feel like I'm at one of these pictures, I'm going to stand still. <laughs> but I'm surrounded by these beautiful pictures, um, They are each, each one is as good as the next, they're absolutely beautiful. And Drina is the young lady that has painted all these pictures and I, I'm quite sure that they all have a story because I can see one here is in Vegas and they're probably this looks like it could be Hawaii. I don't know. They're all they're on th that looks like you're celebrating some some champagne or something. So, how are you? Are I'm you good? Fine. Are you Thank good? you. Well, as far as the pictures go, these are embellished fabric collage, and if you look really close, like here, you can see fabric. Yeah, this all one over I was going it. to say. That this fabric. This is entirely fabric, and then I embellish it with. This is uh, a little bracelet that broke from India, so I put it as if it was on the floor. So this there. is beautiful, but this is this is actually um, a couple of bottles of uh, champagne. That's right. I we're, call we're it celebration. We're going, we're, it right. I was going to say celebration. Yeah. We're yeah. celebrating. Yeah. Absolutely. And then this, if you can look at the lights, if the lights shine, then you can see in the thread that I sewed in here, you can see all the lights of the city. Now, what do you mean sewed? Because this well, is all done on fabric. This is this is done. This happens to be done on paper. Everything else is done on fabric. Okay, and, and then so, I. Because that's why when you said sew, do you mean you actually did sew it in there? I, I laid down all the fabric and then I went back and sewed over it. That's why it's called embellished fabric. Embellished collage. fabric. See, I haven't seen that before. I know they do a lot of stuff with yeah. paint. My friends used to think I'm going to be well known for this, but certainly not in my lifetime. But well, which why brings me here. We want to do something. Which, okay, we've yeah. got, we got to get how well known out there. Well, with. this I call maintenance free aquarium. Okay, and that's maintenance free aquarium, which, you, which actually answers the question because you don't have to feed the fish, because in picture form. Did well, I get it right? If you have an aquarium, <laughs> you're glad not to have to do it. Well, but you must have had one at one time and didn't uh, yeah, <laughs> too I did. much work. I, I had a goldfish aquarium. And then this is organza, so you can see behind it all the organza in it and all the different fabric. But I did this for 20 years, and I okay. have a storage room full of my art. and. All of a sudden, my brothers and I got the rights to Taylor Caldwell novels. Now, if any of you know of Taylor Caldwell, you're probably a rarity. But back in her day, okay, who was Taylor Caldwell? You see, even Ninon doesn't know who and she I is. And I know a lot of people. Yeah, right? she knows a lot of people. Okay. Taylor Caldwell wrote 40 books. Okay, let me and, see this. And uh, this is about Genghis Khan. Taylor Caldwell. Mm -hmm. I think, if I remember rightly, I believe. My uh, brother or sister knows them, uh, if I remember rightly. It says to look and pass. So mm -hmm. what do you do? You look and you pass? Well, let's well, find out. got to read the book. And as a matter of fact, in May, um, on three different days, which I hope will be on the screen at some point, they are down pricing uh, three of her books okay. for uh, $1.99. Usually they're priced like $10.99 to $14.99 e-books. Yes. And, uh, my manager and I are going to go on a cruise to the Panama Canal on one of the ships that she used to go in the the Holland American Line. I don't know okay. if the Eurodam was going then, but I'm hoping maybe some people who want to come. We'll have a little book club of those three books. Absolutely. Yeah, because Absolutely. Uh, 20 years of this. So what I'm, made yeah. you get involved with Taylor Caldwell? Well, she's my grandmother. I'm her oh, only granddaughter. So, so now the, the plot is opening up. Okay, <laughs> so now, so that was your grandma. Mm -hmm. um, and if I remember rightly, when we're very young, we seem to love our grandmothers because grandmothers never actually tell you not to do anything. Oh, this one did. Oh, she did? Oh, she did. She was strict she, with you? She was a little more strict than... Uh, most grandmothers, uh, well, especially. Were you naughty? I, I. She sounded like she was a naughty little girl. I, I was <laughs> smoking. Uh, yeah. Oh. And I started when I was 16, but then I quit smoking in 1980. But I started, you know, that other little kind of cigarette. Which one? You know, the kind that isn't. Well, you can tobacco. say. Tobacco. I can say marijuana. Of course you can if you want to. I mean. And it took me. Three you, so you smoked marijuana. For Did the marijuana give you the creativity to paint all these pictures and no. get into the art? No, no. Okay, what, marijuana, what marijuana did for me was uh, I was afraid to swim under underwater and swim in the water. Yeah. I did it. And and then but then I didn't need any more and then I found myself addicted to it. And so I weaned myself off. So you that. think that people can get addicted to marijuana? I do. Well you do. I do. Yeah. I okay. Did. So what was the because you're going back some years. How old were you when you started taking marijuana? 
Twenties? I was 33. So you're still, still very young, and those days, mm -hmm. you know, when yeah. you go back a little bit, it wasn't really that popular as it is now. Well, there was a period when it was. Oh, with all the flower children and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was there, it. There so, so do you think that you kind of had a very different life and, 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 and it was... It was a two-year thing, and then I, I moved to Bakersfield. I was a school psychologist for 32 years in Bakersfield. I had a friend there, she Bakersfield. said... Bakersfield? I happen to know Bakersfield. What else do you Nobody do knows in Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Ba I know ba Bakersfield. Oh, really? Sure Tell I me do. more. I don't, well, there's nothing happening there. Well, <laughs> you work there. For sure. You work there. You make a decent wage. Yes. You bank the wage. And, yes. And then I got my doctorate, and I worked as a uh, counseling psychologist. And wait a second, Baker's. So don't they have that very well-known hotel there? The uh, Fox. No, 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 no. That, that's the uh, Padre. A, the Padre. There's a very well-known. Uh, yes, where they used to have the presidents used to go into this particular yeah, hotel. The Padre. Am I, yeah. See, I do know it. You do. See? You yes, do. I Most do. Most people know. just go through it. No, but there's this beautiful hotel because my husband and I, we own some property in Paris. So we, Paris, which was for Riverside, the other side, so we used to drive, but we would drive through there at night, you know, early night, we'd have dinner there. And you'd come down the hill, yes. the grapevine, and it's beautiful. And oh, it was, it was at but this, this, you would never think this hotel was in Bakersfield in a million years. It was so gorgeous. It was like being in an old English mansion, actually. It was mm -hmm. gorgeous, absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So, um, how old were you when you started painting and started doing all this stuff? Well, <clears throat> when I was the school psychologist, there was a, a teacher there, a home ec teacher, and she was teaching people how to sell. And so I started when I was 50, I started. 50? Well, hang on a second. How, I'm not going to ask you how old you are now, but well, you don't look 50, so, okay. This is a cool story. <laughs> <laughs> I just became my friend. You did. But, just but, the right but, she, but she lies. I mean, that guy over I there is a young woman. Well, yeah, I mean, we are a young woman. <laughs> well, if we, we I are don't lie. Today, we don't. Now, so when, when you started, so, so, so you went into, obviously, you went, we're going to back up a little bit. So, so, you, so, so I brought my fabric in, and, and oh, I yeah, wanted okay, to make a pair, a pair of some silk I had. I wanted to make a pair of pants, and she said it, she wanted to start me off with something easy. I said, no, pair of pants. Fifteen years later, I had all of this fabric. And you know, little snippets of things. So I decided to back it with glue, heat set it. How did you learn to paint? Reading. And then when I started to win some prizes in Bakersfield, some artists there said, We want you to come in our group. And then they taught me too. They taught you? Yeah. Well. So yeah. was it kind of something you fell into? Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. It's like a hobby. Well, my grandmother, Taylor Caldwell, always said she wanted to be an artist, but there was no money in it. But I had made my money. Yeah, but a, a lot of people make money in artistry, and, uh, oh, but, but minuscule. Yeah, but be one of those. Well, you see this picture over here. Yes. The original is about like that. So what I did, and it took me about this took me about a month to do this. About a month and a half. Now this is a yeah. chandelier that's got all these diamonds and things on. Yeah, over. it's is got embellishment and embellishment collage on it. On it. On collage. Okay. But the original is in uh, uh, one of my favorite. Um, what do you call them? Mentors? No, no, patrons has the originals about like that so I took a picture of it shrunk it down so this is actually not the original no this is a no picture. but I took the uh, the the print and then I uh, embellished the print and somebody's buying that and so I can make a little bit of money I'm hopefully he's gonna buy it Thursday or maybe this weekend and just out of curiosity, how much will you... Oh, I'm going to charge him $200 for that. $200? That's like not $1, bad. $200 for that? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. It's yeah. better than $100, right? <laughs> it's framed, too, and that and costs, too. I was going to say the frame will cost $200. <laughs> <laughs> 100 <laughs> Now, I want to just go all the way back again. You obviously went to school for psychiatry and all this stuff. To psychology, university for yeah. Psychology. And you psychology. went there uh, to university for that. Oh. I went to the UOP, which is in Stockton, and then okay. I was told you'll never finish your dissertation if you move too far from where you're getting that, and I needed to make some money. So yes. I did my year of residency in Stockton, and then I moved okay. to Bakersfield. And so you were able to make a good living. And at that time, were you doing any of these paintings, or you hadn't even started that yet? Every now and then I would get an urge to, 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 do, do to do something, and I would do one or two, and that would be it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but because I didn't have. I, I I'm sitting here and I'm feeling that you have in your life you haven't quite done everything you wanted to do. No, you kind of, you kind of. <laughs> Don't like, we all have a bucket list? Um, my bucket list has been 
be filled as we go along. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a very, very, very lucky woman. Well, I'm going very, going to the Panama through the Panama Canal was on my bucket list, and oh, that's why I, I went through. The, I went through the Panama Panama Canal accidentally. I never knew I was going through it, oh, but really? I was on a cruise with another girl because I was. We were doing a modeling thing and everything from England to Jamaica, actually. No wonder you're and a we model. Went through, yeah, I was a model, and we were going through the Panama Canal, and I didn't. I didn't. I said, "What's the Panama?" Oh wow! Well, I'm going to pay attention this. <laughs> <laughs> pay good attention. Pay good. It's quite. I mean, you know, the boat goes into dry, and and all the water comes out, and then all the water goes in, and off it goes out again. It's, it's, I don't know. It's just you know, it's going from one level to another. So we're going to from Fort Lauderdale through the Panama Canal. We're turning around and going back a ten-day cruise. Oh, how lovely! To the, to so you're taking all your Lauderdale. pictures with you? Uh, I. I might take a, a couple because I'll I'm going to have why, a book you club have, there. Well, no, but you can have an exhibition. You could phone up the cruise line and ask them if you can have a if you can have an exhibition on there. If that's an idea that oh. works, I would be. Uh, they have it all Thank the you. time. They have oh. it all the time. So this might be nice because it's unusual. It's a little different. A couple of shots of Vegas, so it might be a little different for people to see on the cruise. And you know, maybe it'll pay for your cruise. Well, maybe you're getting a cruise free. I don't know. No, it's not not, not free. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's free. Even if you get it free, it's not free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to speak on the cruise, and they gave me two tickets. I, so I, you were a speaker as well? As a psychologist. As a psychologist. As a psychologist, I spoke on... What uh, was your main thing in psychology that, you, that, that really hit every time when you were with people, when you were trying to obviously help that's them? A good, that's a good... Getting rid of negative emotions. Getting rid of negative emotions, I think that's the greatest thing because I'm Miss Positive. I'm known as Miss Positive. I'm, I'm always the positive one. But yet we one. all have some sadness and fear and grief. What, that even but we don't we have talk, to embellish on it. No, but we can discharge it privately and then be free of it. Yes, I think just get rid of all that because it doesn't really get you anywhere. No, that's why you want to be rational, relaxed I just had a and guy, zestful. I just had a guy on my show. Jake, and he was young. He didn't speak to his mother for four years and didn't speak to his father for, ye for four years. He now calls them every single day. And I, before he told me that, he had said, I said, well, what did you do? And he said, well, I didn't speak to them. And I said, well, that was probably, you, you got hurt, not them. I'm sure they did as well. But now they're happy together again, and he Good. regrets that. He regrets those the eight, time. The, yeah. he regrets those eight years. Yeah. So, you know, so I think holding a grudge with anybody is what I feel is a waste of time. Because the only person that hurts is yourself. That's right. It doesn't hurt anyone. Well, else. The, the thing about it is, if you if you uh, uh, learn how to release your emotions safely without hurting yourself and without hurting anybody else, but not at that person, then you can be more. Uh, uh, warm and relaxed and interested when you're with them. It's not loving life. <laughs> yeah. It's like my brother says, you know, we get into arguments every now and then, but but uh, we always forget it. Oh, you know what my favorite, my favorite saying is that we are not arguing, we're having a discussion. discussion. Right. And I said, there's no such thing. You're having your opinion, I'm, and I'm entitled to my opinion as well, and you're entitled to yours. So I guess that's how it kind mm -hmm. of works out. Yeah, yeah. Did you like doing that work? And are you still doing it? No, I'm not. I'm not. I, uh, Got when, I moved, when I moved from Bakersfield back here, I, to Vegas? I didn't want to. They wanted me to go back to school after I had my doctorate and in order yeah, to get the license, the license in Nevada. Back from Nevada. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. didn't do it. So you didn't do it. So I did this for 20 years and now I'm ready to. So what are you ready for on? now? She's ready for something. I'm not quite sure what it is. What are you ready for? Well, I'm ready for now. Fun. Here I come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're ready for fun. Well, I am. I am. I'm. Always was an ambitious woman, and I want to be. But don't ever stop. I want to have Keep going. goals. I want to have goals, but I also want to have fun, and I want to have people in well, my life. Well, why did you have fun with the goals? Why would the goals be negative? That's what I'm learning. The I'm goals learning cannot be negative. Friends. You're right. You're absolutely right. And that's what I'm doing. I used to work 16 so maybe hours I a day. Still giving her lessons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, working but 16 hours a day was way too much. Way too. But much. that's what you wanted yeah. to do at the time. I yeah. you think about it. Like think about me. Know what's to do in Bakersfield? Work. I don't quite know. Go to that. It's, I would be at the hotel a, all that time. It's a great I'd place to work. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll probably yeah. just move and in. And the people there are very nice, like they are here. Yes, but it's very sort of quiet. Now. Well, it's I came from a, a place called, in England called Torquay, and that was also very quiet. So I moved out when I was 16. I was gone. I went to London. Oh. I said, I want a better place. But anyway, how can people reach you for your pay to buy a painting? Um, or they can get, uh, let's see. My telephone number? I don't mind. If you want to give no. your number out, you can do whatever you want. You can so go yours. online and you can contact <laughs> me um, at uh, artbydrina, D-R-I-N-A, dot com. And that's where my website is. Okay. That. And there's also an interview about Taylor Caldwell. And 
I think this woman is fascinating, Taylor Colwell. She really oh, gosh, is. She wrote She's so many books. Fascinating. I don't know if she was really well known out there. She was extremely well known. As a matter of fact, do you well, know who discovered go? her? Maxwell Perkins, who also discovered F. Scott Fitz Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway, and he advised her to only use part of her name, Taylor Caldwell, because they wanted to disguise it. And everybody was going around after, in 1938, her first novel was... This uh, is definitely before our time. Definitely. I wasn't born. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, let's just clarify but, that. But her okay. best-selling novel, then uh, they, everybody said, oh, Taylor Caldwell, he's such a great writer. Oh, I just love to read his stories. Did you read the next one? And then year after year, they waited for the next one. And then after... When it finally came out that she was a woman, what did it? I was going to say, say when you kept saying he 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 has a right, that's what they a said. That's what they said. They finally came out, and and there was I forgot what some, I wanted to quote it exactly. They just said uh, okay. there was a public stir when people discovered Taylor Caldwell was a woman, and uh, there was a time when um, she was known as Cicero of our time because one of her books, A Pillar of Iron, was about uh, Cicero. Another oh. one's about Genghis Khan. She's written spiritual novels about uh, fascinating Saint Paul. woman. Grandmothers, She's a fabulous. Grandmothers always are. I love oh. my two grandmothers. They were fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've been a fabulous guest. I love oh, your you. art. Don't forget thank to buy you. some of her art. Keep an eye on what she's doing, and she's a, such a busy lady. And uh, you might catch up with her on the, what, what cruise lines is it? This is on uh, the Eurodam. This is on the Holland America, January twenty sixth through February fifth. Okay. If you can be on that cruise, we'll talk about her books and you can maybe get some of them now for only a dollar ninety nine on uh, certain days. God, if she knew that price she'd turn in her grave, I'm quite sure. I know. I know. Actually a dollar ninety nine was quite a bit of money. Oh boy, in those back days. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all a good way of looking at all it. All things You've are been relative. A, yes Thank they you. are. She's been absolutely amazing. Little different angle on art, books and everything. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.